Jury selection begins tomorrow for a former Minnesota Republican donor accused of sex trafficking minors. Anton Lazaro is accused of recruiting 15 and 16 year olds for sex in exchange for cash and other items. His co-conspirator Gisela Medina pleaded guilty and is expected to testify against him. All five minors are also expected to take the stand. Jennifer Merrily takes a look at the 32 year old at the center of the case. FBI agents raided Anton Tony Lazaro's downtown Minneapolis condo in December of 2020. Inside his $875,000 place at the luxury Ivy High Rise, investigators seized nearly $400,000 in cash, along with foreign currency and bars believed to be gold. They found a GPS tracker, thumb drives, laptops, tablets, and more than a dozen cell phones. And agents confiscated his Ferrari. By all accounts, Lazaro was living large until the raid that was linked to allegations of sex trafficking minors. His social media shows pictures with a president and high-ranking politicians. Flashy cars, cash, and private planes are splashed across his pages. Lazaro grew up in Southern California. He had a few LLCs registered with the California Secretary of State's office, all which are now dissolved. There's little information about the companies online. In Minnesota, Lazaro's Gold River Group LLC is inactive. The website says it specializes in securities, family office, energy, and political industries, but offers little more. We form Big Tent Republicans to save our country. His Big Tent Republicans PAC, now offline, says it worked to broaden the base and appeal of the Republican Party, and it supported party candidates. Lazaro donated roughly $190,000 to Minnesota Republicans. Happy day, everybody. In 2019, he joined then Minnesota GOP chair Jennifer Carnahan. We're so excited to have with us tonight our co-host and very, very special guest, Tony Lazaro. Co-hosting a podcast called Truth Matters. Until his arrest, he'd been a mainstay on the political scene, donating to campaigns and offering his opinion on TV. Jennifer Merrily, WCCO 4 News. The trial is expected to last two to three weeks. Lazaro denies the allegations and has said the charges are politically motivated.